<laughs> Hi, my name is Anne, and I am the queen of crocheting, knitting, tearing things apart, putting them back together again, a little bit better off than they were before we got started. Anyway, um, today I'm going to put together a little tutorial for you, um, some fingerless gloves so that you can give them away as gifts, you can sell them, you can do whatever you want with them, it really doesn't matter as long as you're creative. Let's get started. What you will need are little scissors, and number six, crochet hook, some darning needles, and the colors of yarn of your choice. Okay, here we are. I have some yarn. It's pretty. It's little sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, I'm using a number six needle to make a chain of 24. This might be kind of big. I sort of sometimes for kids I'll do 22. This is just thick yarn. I normally don't use this thick of yarn. I just wanted to use something that was big enough that you would be able to see what I'm doing. So then I'm going to join it into the last stitch, actually the first stitch that we, we made in our chain. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to single crochet. You're going to have to look up online. Um, there will be a bunch of tutorials about how you crochet if you're really, really new. I would suggest sort of doing your homework and doing a few test rows and stitches so that you know how this works. We're not going to be going back and forth at all, so that's going to be a lot handier, um, a much simpler project. And some people prefer to uh, weave ends in when they're finished. They're, you know, I just think I'm basically <laughs> too lazy. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all my little chains and I'm going to just kind of pull this end up sort of high up so that it's, it's pretty taut. And then I'm going to kind of forget about it and I'm going to continue to crochet, holding it up where I can pull it inside a single crochet as I go by. And that way it disappears and at the very, very end I can just, you know, um, snip off a little end. Okay. It gets a little tricky right at the very end where we started and to hold that the, uh, the end in as well. You know, it sounds kind of redundant for what I'm saying, but it'll make sense as you go. So basically here we are. We have um, the first round of the fingerless gloves. That's how it's going to go. I'm just going to continue to single crochet for the next four rows. And where I'm going to end up is pretty much where we started. You can put a stitch marker there if you like, but I can see, you can see where there's like a little hump. I know where we started, so when I have one, two, four rows, I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so here we are. I am at the place. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's gonna. This is really bad. This is my first video all by myself, so please bear with me. You might be able to see it. I'm not really sure. I do apologize. I'll I'll put in little photos um, so it will let you see exactly what it is that I'm talking about or I'm doing. Okay, so I, what I'm going to do so that you can actually see my stitches is I'm going to change yarn. And you don't have to change, you don't have to do your thumb hole. How can I maybe... This might be a really messed up video, but that's okay. It's my first all by myself. 
So what I'm doing, I just attached another color of yarn so that I can show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about and doing. So I'm going to crochet the end in. Normally I start a new row where you see this little dip. This is where we started. Um, we joined our very first um, crochet, like a chain of 24. So this is where I sort of just keep it, like I have an idea of where it is that we're going. Okay, so once I have my little ends in, I actually don't have to crochet that much. I just pull them up, snip them off, let them sink in behind. So what I'm going to do now is chain five, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to skip four holes. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to continue crocheting um, in the in the fifth spot right after the four and then I'm gonna go around and then when I crochet all around the entire row I'm going to change yarn again I'm gonna change a color so that you can actually see where the stitches are going into to make life a little bit easier if I'm not clear with what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna snip it off. I'm going to tie on another, I usually go like this to connect two colors. You can do whatever it is that makes you comfortable. Then I'm going to take the two ends in my hand, my fingers, and I'm going to sort of keep it in the middle of how I'm crocheting, where I'm crocheting, so that they just disappear. You only have to go a few stitches. Um, you don't have to knit for a long time. Okay, so now, hopefully you can see this, in the back end of each stitch of my little fives, I'm going to crochet the new color in the back. Oops. And then you just pick up the next stitch and you continue to go around. Now you can knit, or sorry, you can crochet a straight color, one block of color, or you can continue to change colors all the way along. I like to take all the ends of all my projects and I like to tie all the yarn together and that's how I come up with some really funky types of fingerless gloves. I normally crochet a little, um, a very, very thin yarn um, with it all so it's sort of a consistent color with all my other colors changing. It'll become clear when I put a few photos of fingerless gloves that I've done in the past. So basically this is it. We just keep on going. And I like to crochet about 18 stitches, or 18 rows, I mean. So we continue doing this. Same color, different colors, doesn't really matter. Um, this is your project, so you do whatever it is that you like. Um, I continue on for about 18 rows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to do another 10 rows. And then when you're finished, this is your little hole for the thumb. So this is really the beginning. It's not rocket science, it's very, very simple. So I'm going to come back once I have completed the whole entire thing so that I don't need to bore you to tears um, watching me crochet. I would imagine it's worse than watching paint dry. So I'll be back in a few. Okay, I'm going along and it's a lot of pink. So I think I'm just going to 
tie on another collar. keep it on top of the row that I'm working on so that I can just again encase it and uh, hide, hide the yarn. Not for too long, it gets a little finicky at the end so I just snip it off. The only thing I will end up sewing in will be at the very, very end when I I'll have to sew in the, you know, how I end the whole project. I'll sew that in so that it's nice and flat. I was just about to mention that, you know, these are my Zen moments where I'm just sort of present with myself and I am trying to ignore what is going on outside. Just before I was gonna tell you something, this massive transport truck went by. Anyhow, while I've been sitting here, I've noticed that our cute little succulents, hi little ones, I don't know if you can see it. I'll take some photos at the end, but some little teeny tiny babies are popping up that I hadn't noticed before. So that's nice to see. And yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. I'm gonna change colors two more times. You'll see me do that. And then I'll come back when it's all finished. See you in a few. Okay, here we go. Nothing's perfect, you know, there's three rows here, two rows here, it doesn't really matter. I just really feel like changing colors. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of green. Again, I'm gonna hide my little end. And you don't have to you don't have to sew things in, you can just snip off the ends. If I snip off the end, I sort of poke the little, the little part that um, connects the two pieces of yarn. I poke it through to the inside just so that you don't see it. And again, I'm going to snip off the little ends. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm coming up to completing the row of green. Again, it doesn't have to be finished perfectly. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Like, we're not perfect. We're not supposed to be perfect. We're supposed to enjoy what it is that we're doing. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, then I would suggest you need another project uh, that makes you happier. So again, I'm going to hide Ends. There we go. Okay, so let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm going to continue to crochet with this pretty pink um, until the end and then I'm going to come back on and I'm going to show you how I finish it off including sewing it in. See you in a few. Okay. Here we are. I have ended it pretty much. Maybe I'll just do one more stitch. Pretty close to where I started it. And then for the last stitch, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pull through two and I'm gonna kind of 
pull it pretty tight. Not super tight. I crochet two. I just crochet two stitches, pull it through, and then I kind of wiggle it down so that it's pretty tight. There we go. Here's our first fingerless glove. So the little ends sticking out, doesn't really matter. Chop it off. So now I have all my needles in here. It was an old medication bottle. I'm a fabulous recycler. And I just thought this was so pretty. And I'm like, why waste it? Why throw that away? So anyhow, I have all my needles safely in there so that they don't fall everywhere. So I'm now going to use a little darning needle. And I'm going to try. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, so I have my darning needle on the yarn, and then I'm going to kind of just go into like the inside. So you kind of want to hide this, and then I'm just going to sort of weave it, and don't pull it too tight. Back and forth a few times in the same spot and I hold it tight and then I pull and it'll lock it in there and then I snip it off. And that's it. I'm going to put my little needle away so I don't drop it. So there you go. Voila! This may be your first fingerless glove ever. It's pretty simple. Um, I have sold a lot of them. Um, so I'm very appreciative to my customers and clients. So I know that if you have friends or family who say walk a dog, um, I've even used um, when I was going to work really early in the morning when it was a little chilly, I would wear them. At first I thought it was sort of like a fashion accessory, but then when I forgot it, I really noticed that this part of my arm got really cold. So this is perfect for driving because you're holding the wheel and you have your fingers and your thumb out because if you use like a glove or a mitten that's a little slippery on the wheel. So these just have a lot of great functions. Um, yeah, so anyway, I will be back. I'm just going to go away and I'm going to create another one and then I'm going to do a little end video for you. Okay, happy crocheting. We'll see you in a minute. And then I'm going to put them on. Okay. I sort of just eyeballed it where the other where the little colors changed and um, I'm pretty happy with it. They're cute. I like them. I love them. Hi, here I am. Okay, done and done. I hope I was clear. We will find out when we go to edit this video. Um, actually, I won't edit my guy will edit it for me I'm sure he's fantastic and um, I will redo you'll know if I made any mistakes because you'll see where other colors have come in where I'm sort of redoing things so but anyway it doesn't matter we're supposed to just have fun make mistakes it's all good just don't give up ever so um, now that I finished my very first uh, video, all by myself, I'm freaking out. I'm going to be knitting a one of my chunky sweaters. Actually, I have one right here. I'm going to be doing one of these, and also um, a nice big chunky blanket using your own yarn that you're going to make up, like the colors that you're going to make. So yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you for um, 
watching. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. I'm sure my tutorials will get better. My daughter actually told me to do this. So Alex, it's all your fault. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a message or uh, you can find me on Instagram. There will be links in the description, but I am Ann Hopkins Design. And I'm also Ann Hopkins on Etsy. You can find me there and you can see all the crazy things I've been doing. And I want to thank my clients that I have, all my customers. I have so many orders right now. Like, I can't believe this is my life. And I'm just very, very grateful. And so I just thought I would take a few minutes and uh, put something together for you so that you can do this with me and have a blast. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.